So we are only a few days out from our upcoming Disney World trip and I'm so excited. Um, I've started kind of like pulling and prepping for packing. I try not to pack too far in advance because then I tend to overpack, but we all just are doing our best. Every time I start a vlog, I swear. <laughs> Hello, there's one. How long will it take for the other one to come in? <laughs> That's the heavy breathing you're gonna hear. Um, anywho, so this past weekend I did some prepping too. I got the boys' haircuts. Um, I got them some brand new shoes. And for those of you that have been to Disney before, you know that the worst thing you wanna do is go to Disney World with brand new shoes that are not broken in. So I got them on Sunday, so I figured that gave them a whole week to be able to wear them to school. They have athletics and PE, and um, we play pickleball and stuff too. So um, that'll give them plenty of time to break them in, so that way when we're on the trip, their feet don't hurt. Oh, that didn't take long. Hi. So this is a spring break trip that I'll be packing for and the weather can be kind of all over the place from super cold and you need in like pants and sweatshirts and beanies to very warm and swimsuits by the pool. So before I jump into the clothing aspect of it, I kind of want to go through some of the toiletries. Now I do keep a toiletry cabinet in my bathroom so after every trip I keep everything in one spot so it's easy to kind of pull for each trip. Um, over this past weekend, I did a quick target run for a few items that we were either low on or needed. Um, but I'm going to show you kind of a little bit of my toiletries and mention some honorable mentions that I like to take on each one of my trips. This could look a little overwhelming to you, but trust the process. So as you notice, I have separate bags for everything. It just helps me to kind of keep organized to have everything kind of separated by subcategories. So that way when I am in a hotel room and I need something specific, I can just know exactly where to grab it. So let's start. So I, I actually, a couple years ago, Mike bought me all these Stony Clover bags. So I really do love them. They are super durable. Their zippers are very nice. And then through the years, I've just kind of added my own patches, either from small shops, or I think some of these are actually Stony Clover patches that I've put on. And I'm proud of myself because I sewed all these on. <laughs> this one's really cute. So this one I actually use for Aaron's retainer. This one's just like toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash, rinse, etc. This is my makeup case, which looks a little dirty on the inside. A couple of um, honorable mentions for makeup is the setting spray. This is Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. This is amazing for keeping all your makeup on. The biggest thing with this is you wanna make sure that you're using it in between each layer. Um, so when you're, you put on your moisturizer, you put on your serums, and then you're gonna spray your face, let it dry. Put on all your like foundation, if concealer if you use it, whatever. Spray it again, let it dry. So you're just gonna go layer by layer and that'll keep your makeup and everything in place all day. I also start off with Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. I put this on after my moisturizer and, and serums because it helps keep everything stay on my face. And then also it has a 30 um, SPF in it. So it's a great sunscreen. So this is what I use for all my hair products. This one's actually like, I don't know if they call this it's not embroidered, I don't know, whatever. It's got like a print on print, but it's already sewn in it. So some of my honorable mentions would be, I'm obsessed with all of this WOW product. This is a dream coat. It actually helps with like um, keeping the frizz and stuff and humidity from your hair. So after you wash your hair, you just wanna saturate your hair in this before you dry it and that'll help with the poofiness of it. <laughs> I do have textured hair. I think they make this for like every type, but that's the one I use. They actually have another product called Raise the Root. So this is great to thicken and kind of give yourself some volume um, at the root of your hair. A couple other products I love. Whey, this is a leave-in conditioner. This helps kind of keep your hair moistured and it smells amazing. They also make a, where is it at? 
hair oil. So if your ends do get a little dry, this is awesome. You just need like a tiny little drop and again, smells so awesome. And then I always recommend bringing a dry shampoo just for if you feel like you don't wanna wash your hair that day or if like your roots get a little oily or greasy, you can just kind of spray it with that and then you're good to go. I have the Dyson Air Wrap System. I really, 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 really love this. So it is, I think this is actually like the first generation, but I, it comes in this big case, you know, so you can store it in. So it has like a heating mat here and then it has the base or the main component and then like all the attachments to it. This is so big and cumbersome that I never travel with this case. I always move it over to a separate case and that's kind of why I use this Stony Clover bag. And then I use a heat kind of protectant bag to put it in. Sorry, it looks a little linty. Um, so if these are hot and I put them in here, then they don't you know, mess with the bag or anything like that. So, and I don't take all this, I just take like the base. I take my the blow dryer portion. I usually just take like the big barrels. I take the roll brush. And then I used to bring one of the smoothing brushes, but my girlfriend Heather actually bought one of these and had me try it at her house and I really love it. It's a new smoothing one and it didn't come with the original kit and they were out of pink, so I had to get silver. But um, this works really great if you're trying to straighten your hair or you have like flyaways at like the base, which I do have. So this was great. And it was only like 40 bucks for the attachment. So I'll bring that too. And I'll p take them all, usually put the base like in here. And then this, I don't know if you can see, has like little pockets in it. So you can put like all the attachments in separate areas in the bag. The final hair piece I have is for sleeping. And I started sleeping with a satin lined bonnet. I actually wrap my hair up in this, like on top of my head in the scrunchie, it's a satin scrunchie, and then put this on when I'm sleeping. So I have been on quite the hair journey. So for some of you that have been with me for a while, um, I used to wear extensions in my hair because after having Noah and Aaron kind of so close together, and I think just aging, my hair just never fully recovered to the thickness that I felt like it used to be. And, um, I mean, like it grows fine, it just doesn't get as thick anymore. And I was having a ton of shedding. So I started taking Nutrafol. I think I'm on like my fifth month of that. And I have noticed a ton like less shedding. In fact, I barely even shed where before I would just find hair everywhere. Especially in the shower too. You know how girls who you <laughs> wash your hair out and you would get like hair. I don't get really that anymore and it's been awesome. Um, so that has made a difference and then obviously protecting it when I'm sleeping. I also use a satin pillowcase for all my beauty sleep. <laughs> so kind of that combination together I feel like has really helped my hair. So I'm just going to keep doing that and hopefully keep all the hair. I mean I have a lot of like regrowth. I don't know if you can even see like little hairs like everywhere. So it is growing. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Maybe right here. It's hard to do that by myself. Um, so it is growing. It's just taking a long time. And I don't know if it's going to grow. These hairs are going to grow like the length of like the rest of my hair. But at least I won't have like thinning spots or balding spots or whatever. So that's that. So these two bags are kind of what I consider like my Mary Poppins bags, probably number one and number two. Um, this one I actually even take into the parks with me and this one just stays in the room, but it has everything and anything that I would never, <laughs> that I would ever need. I have been in a lot of situations where it's something has happened and I'm like, oh, I should have had that. So that's kind of what this entails. So I'm gonna quickly kind of show you what I have in here. So wet ones, these are great for wiping your hands off and then especially at the festival, wiping down tables or trash cans, whatever you prefer to use as your dining table. I've got Kleenex. I've got Dramamine. I used to have to take this for Cosmic Rewind. Oh, there we go. But I don't need it anymore, but just in case somebody needs it. Cortisone for like heat rash, bug bites. My kids actually started using this CeraVe because Aaron has really sensitive skin and they actually prefer this one. So I just bring both. And then Lovely Festival has yummy corn on the cob and whatever and I'm not gonna have anything in my teeth. <laughs> so floss. 
And then I actually, where'd it go? I actually got these for Mike. Because he actually likes the dental sticks. So I have that. I have boys and if you're a boy mom and they need to use the restroom at the park. We've got dude wipes. Hot and sweaty. You know, you know. TMI. Enough said. Children's Tylenol. Oops. <laughs> this is another brand that we used to use, but... The name is kind of silly, so we won't look at that. Sudafed, I get bad like sinus headaches, so this helps me with that. Eye drops. Road spill. With all my Stony Clover stuff, they had actually recommended keeping this on you since I use a Stony Clover backpack too, but I think this works for anything, obviously. If you get a spill or a stain or something on your bags, you just take this out. It's a stain removal wipe, and you just wipe it down, and that way it doesn't cause a stain. These are plastic straws because my kids hate um, drinking out of paper straws. And these used to come in like a cute little tin. But every time we went through security, it was setting it off. So we had to forego the tin and use a Ziploc bag. Tie it on the go stain stick. <laughs> of course, a little safety pin. And then a little first aid kit. I've got Neosporin, a couple different types of Band-Aids alcohol wipes, etc. And that's that bag. Now, a lot of these items you can find at the first aid centers in each one of the parks, but it is nice to kind of have these already with you. So if you happen to be on the other side of the park and you need a Band-Aid, you don't have to either wait to go all the way to the first aid center or um, I'm sure you could probably even ask a cast member. I don't know if they have them, but I just keep everything on me. So no matter what, I can take care of it. Like I said, is the one that stays in the room. Just additional things. I've got scissors. So all the Disney tags are super mile long, like CVS receipts. So cut them off of clothing, tags, etc. Some more like medicine. Um, last trip, I or last summer, I should say, I jammed my toes into the luggage. So I put the tape in there. Downy wrinkle releaser. I've got drops for like if you get swimmer's ear, some Claritin. What else? Um, style tape. So, you know, tape some clothing depending on how I'm wearing something. I've got a small sewing kit. There is a ginger lozenge. There is glue. I'm sure somebody broke something at some point. Um, I've got a little mini screwdriver or a gel. Oh my gosh, so many things. Um, and then more dude wipes. <laughs> now this bag is usually what I pulled out when we are on a flight, which has everything that I need that when I'm in my seat, so I'm not fumbling through my bag. So it's like different holders for your cell phone in case you're know, watching a movie or playing a game. Sleep mask, hand sanitizer. I've got my fuel rod, a pen. Some more wipes, there's an eyeglass cleaning case, there's masks in there. You guys don't know, I have been diagnosed with MS, so there's certain situations I'm just not comfortable in, so I'll just wear a mask for that one. Um, but that's kind of what I use. Now this trip we are driving, God bless us, send us some pixie dust so that way we get through this our first time ever driving. Um, but I figured this would still kind of serve its purpose, purpose to stay in the front seat with me, so. Um, I usually put my AirPods in there also, and then like a charging cord. So now some extra items. I'm bringing a waterproof cell phone case um, for, you know, if the kids want to go down the slide or have their phone in the pool. These are a must have for like summer trips or like Alani or cruising because um, they've got the straps on them so you can kind of keep everything around your neck. I'm only going to bring one for this trip. Um, these are our umbrellas. Not only good for rain, but for blocking out the sun for shade, especially like if you drive in or in parking lots, the cement can get really hot. So these are great. These actually cool you. I think it's like 10 to 20 degrees cooler underneath these, especially also even walking around Epcot in the afternoon. Um, and I bought these carabiners couple trips ago so that way I could just hook them to the outside of my backpack versus having them in because you do have to remove these when you're walking through security so I just unhook them the kids walk through with them hand them back to me I reclip them um, so that way we don't have to even have space into the backpack or sometimes they'll even hook it to their belt loop and they'll just carry it around or 
the carabiner is nice so that way when they are wet and you're putting them in there, you're not putting wet items back in your backpack. You can just hook it on the outside. Sunglasses and then brought some Tide Pods. We are doing a split stay, which you know we love for our vacations. And the second part of our split stay, we're in a one bedroom. And the one bedroom DVC rooms have washer and dryers in the room, which is lovely. And they usually give you like one to two containers of detergent. Um, and then someone else told me you can call down to the front desk and they'll bring more up to you. Or go to the laundry room. They have the vending machines where they're, I think they're usually a dollar. Um, but I didn't want to, since the laundry's in our room, I didn't want to put somebody out to have to bring me anything or me go search for something. So I'm just going to bring those because we do like to do laundry, not only to save with packing because we can like reuse like, you know, undergarments or shorts or whatever, or if it rains, like your clothes are wet, it helps to kind of do that. And then also going home, then we don't have a bunch of dirty clothes with us. A way for us to save money is we bring reusable popcorn buckets that we bought on trips in the past. Um, cause refills on this are like two, I think $2 and 25 cents or something like that. So a great way to like appease your kids, especially if you're waiting in line, waiting for a show, waiting for fireworks, you can snack and then you don't feel like you're spending 10, 15, $20 each time for popcorn. That might do it for toiletries. Right girls? Are we done with toiletries? <laughs> All right. Let's move on to the closet. Ugh, packing. So yesterday I started to pull outfits and clothes. So these are kind of like my dressier outfits for um, like signature dining or just nice dinners. I pulled a couple of swim cover ups. I do have this cute Stony Clover. This was like a collab they did with Target last year. Um, so I have all of our swimsuits in here. Okay, Everett girls, I'm trying to film a vlog. You're gonna, you're gonna have to give Mama some space here. Okay. Okay. I think they're chilled out a little bit. So sunscreen after sun care. I do like toys. I did actually just order. We had some speed balls that the kids like, and they're like smaller. And I couldn't find any of those, so I just ordered them off Amazon. So they're supposed to be here today. So I probably bring those versus this. I have, um, these are all my pins to trade that are in here. I know lots of people wear them on like lanyards, like I've got lanyards all up there. I just don't like having things around my neck, especially when it's like hot, or sometimes I might already have like my belt bag or whatever. So I just prefer to keep them in my bag. And then I have another cute little stony clover that has all of our, looks like charging cords and magic bands for the trip. I pulled all my Alex and I think it's Ani, Alex and Ani bracelets, so I have those. It is flower and garden, so I gotta bring my little orange bird shoulder pet. I am bringing my belt bag. Oh shoot, yeah, I get a pull. Forgot I have other bags over here. Oops, sorry sissy. So I'm probably gonna carry this one for spring. I usually use this one for like the winter months or, and then use this one for spring. And then this is my Stony Clover pull bag. So we'll bring that one too. Yike, yike, yikes. I'm glad we're driving now. And then I usually, when we fly, I usually use that as like um, an extra carry-on at the end. A hat in case we don't have good hair days. I'm pulled ears. I actually found this little headband that has orange bird on it, so I'm not sure I'll wear it, but that's cute. And then I have a bucket hat for either pool or when it's hot at the parks. And again, because we're driving, I am bringing my pool, my cute little Minnie Mouse pool hat because I don't have to worry about wearing it or it getting crushed. So I have kind of pulled clothing here, like I mentioned earlier in the, oh, she just came out of nowhere. Belle. You cannot be over here. Go, go. So I packed um, shirts, some tanks, shorts and skirts. And then I also bring some things for if, if possibly when the weather is cooler and changes. So I am bringing my denim jacket. I've got a pair of jeans. I have a pair of leggings and then like a little sweatsuit down here too. 
I check AccuWeather for like the forecast to see what it is and it looks like it's fairly nice. Like I think it's supposed to be pretty good as far as weather goes. Like I think like 70s, 80s, things like that. So I think we're probably okay. Sometimes at night I get a little chilly anyway so that's why I brought that. So I do have to pull shoes. Because we're driving, I'm gonna bring one carry-on that's just gonna be to take into the hotel. So it'll be like pajamas, clothes for the next day, and um, like some basic toiletries. So that way I don't have to pull everything out of the car. Be a little bit more organized. I do have all these Stony Clover like um, princess packing cubes. So I'll probably organize most of this into that and then be done. So I just have to pack up the boys' clothes. Mike is actually on a business trip right now, so when he gets home, um, he gets home the day before, so like on Thursday, he can pull his clothes and pack himself. Um, I actually was gonna show you electronics, but I think he actually took those like charging things, because we have like a charger for AirPods, a watch, and our phone that we kind of set up. Um, but it looks like he took everything, must have just been all in one bag. Um, so maybe during the vlogs, I will show you now this girl needs to go out. I will show you kind of what we use. Go girls. Also, when I pulled clothes, I was gonna make a whole vlog on like, these are my outfits, but I just do not have time. So again, watch the vlogs, I'll show you the outfits. Tell me what you think of them and if you like them. I kind of run the gamut of like, super comfortable to trying to be cutesy, but I digress. Back to electronics, there was a couple of things here I did want to show you. Because of Magic Band Pluses need to be charged and just everything else that's kind of has to be charged on a daily basis, phones, AirPods, cameras, etc. Um, most resorts that have been refurbished have USBs um, and plugs like all throughout as far as the amount that they have, but there are some other resorts that might not have that option. So we do like to bring some of these that you can have like USBs in, extra plugs in. Um, we have a bunch of different styles of that. So, you know, maybe look at your resort or bring it as a just in case. Um, because if you think about it, if it's like four people in a room, you each have a Magic Band Plus, which you don't actually have to charge for it to like get you into parks and rides, but you do need it for like the other, I think they call it like haptics, like when it goes off for fireworks or it, you know, interacts with the show or interacts with like the statues that are around. Um, it does need to be charged for that. So if you think everyone has a phone, everyone has that, you know, you're like eight, you're already like at eight USBs right there that you need. <laughs> so it's just best. Um, and we have noticed too that some of the resorts, depending on when they got refurbished with it, the USBs are weak. So when you try to put your cord in there, it actually doesn't, it has to be like perfect. Otherwise, if it slants down, it won't charge your phone. Um, so that's kind of frustrating. So maybe bring a backup just in case. And then we have these for the little boys, which I don't know how much we're gonna be using on this trip. One hand, these are their charging bricks. So a brick with the car, you know, the cord to be able to charge it just in case they want to do like um, the Epcot what's it called like DuckTales Adventure they'll need their phone in the park or the Play Disney app or if they just want to like you know sometimes if we go to lounges we let them be on their phones for that just some downtime like playing games so if for some reason they didn't charge their phone or they're using it a lot um, then that, that way they can have a brick for it now I know that was a lot kind of thrown at you at once and hopefully you find it helpful and I didn't overwhelm you. But um, comment below with anything that I might have missed that you think is like super important to bring. Now this, because the spring break trip, I'm not bringing like neck fans, I'm not bringing cooling things. So there are things that I've taken on other trips that I just won't need for this one. Um, but if you feel like I missed something that was kind of important, which I'm probably sure I did, um, comment below and let me know. And um, I'm going to try and link um, like an Amazon shop with maybe some of the links of things that I bought So if these any items were things that you wanted for a trip, maybe you can find it easier Still gonna learn how to do that. So if it's not there, sorry Maybe then I'll put like links in the description, but 
um, I'm trying to get more techie. But thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Go love your disc goals. Bye.